Good morning, good evening, good night. Whenever you guys are watching this channel, first subscribe. I know I haven't made a lot of videos on uh, CWI and CWE information, certified wellness inspectors, but uh, I'm going to get back into it. But um, I'm going to just walk you through a few things. If you haven't been on the AWS website, American Welding Society website, you probably should go on there and just look at something, some things. You know, um, a lot of places are being affected by this COVID-19 and um, a lot of things are shutting down, different seminars, they're rescheduling in and different things you have to have before you go into these seminars. So I'm gonna walk you through a few things and I'm gonna show you how to renew your CWE, which is a Certified Welding Educator or CWI, which is Certified Welding Inspector online through the portal. You can go through AWS, it's a whole lot easier than trying to print out this stuff and send it off. Now you can just go online since the pandemic and just submit everything online. You don't even have to have it notarized now. So if you're going to be doing your certification or recertifying for your CWI, make sure you have a passport type photo and you can download an app on your phone and take those from an app and, and upload it. And you also have to have your recent eye exam for your CWI. So you need to make sure you got a passport type photo and your eye exam ready to upload whenever you're doing this uh, application online. And for the CWE, the only thing you need is a updated for a uh, photo. So a passport type photo. I renewed my CWE online yesterday uh, so I'm gonna walk you guys through it and um, here we go let's go through some of this um, first what you want to do is we're gonna log on to AWS website www.aws.org so there look at the top you see the COVID-19 official statement from uh, AWS American Wellness Society so I'm gonna click on this. If you guys probably don't have time, you might be at work. But uh, if you're gonna take the seminar, or you're gonna do any renewals, you probably wanna look through, read some of this stuff. I'm gonna just go through a little bit of it with you before we um, walk you through on how to renew online. And as you can see, the number of uh, priority for AWS is the health and safety of our members, safety, staff, seminar and exam candidates, and so on. You can read through some of this, but um, AWS, community members. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to dominate the global news cycle. Millions of people are experiencing disruptions to their lives. And this goes on and on. And you can learn more. And let's learn more about the AWS community members. We'll click on this. And these are some questions that are being asked. And this was uh, updated on May the 24th, 2021. AWS coronavirus COVID-19 uh, questions and answers. So is AWS concerned about COVID-19 pandemic? Of course, <laughs> they're going to say yes. Um, so they're concerned about the, their staffs and everything. So if you come to their seminars, they're going to mandate that you have a mask and also some gloves and they'll provide gloves for you. And this says, how will the COVID-19 pandemic affect upcoming AWS seminars and exam settings? And it could be cancellations. And this number right here, you need to program it in your phone. This 1-800 number. Call them. Um, you paying all this money for AWS and memberships. Call them and ask questions. I call them every week. Sometimes they get probably get tired of me. I call them all the time. I ask a lot of questions. Um especially with this renewal online it's not it's simple but i'm gonna walk you through it and it's, it's just go step by step procedure it, it's not much to it and aws say they are a non-profit organization hmm. <laughs> yeah they're making some profit and they, they're about to do a price increase also on these uh seminars on the renewals and all this other stuff so get ready for a price hike for getting your CWIs or CWEs or other senior certified wellness inspectors. And you can go through this and read through it. I'll put some links in the description so you don't have to go on the website and type, you just click on the link. And this go on and ask a lot of different questions. Um,
And like I said, make sure you got this number right here. If you sign up for the membership or you sign up to take an exam, make sure you got their number programmed into your phone and ask all the questions you want. If you're paying $3,000 for a seminar and an exam and you want to ask questions, you want to know what's going on. So we're going to go back to the front page. So when you log on to aws.org, let me click off of this. I'm just, we're going to start from scratch, www.aws.org. And what you want to do is go to your certification tab right here. You go, don't log in first, just go to the certification tab. And if you don't have a login, you probably need to go ahead and create one. So once you go to the certification uh, tab right here, you're going to go to renew or recertify. So you click on that. And this right here tells you if you have an existing account, you do not need to create one. If you do not have an account, you need to go to aws.org and create one first. Okay, once you get right here and you get your account created, log on using your email address. And then you enter your password. Then you hit log on. And now it's going to take you to the portal to where you can uh, start your application. Like I said, uh, if you're renewing your CWI, make sure you have a passport type photo, which you can just do it on your phone. And you're going to need your eye exam. But for your CWE, the only thing you need is an updated photo. That's it. So what you want to do, like here, I don't have, I did mine yesterday. As you can see, I submitted mine on January the 10th. So I don't have a link down here for my certified welding educator. Um, right here, it says apply for recertification. My certification ends on um, April the 1st, 2023. So next year uh, in 2023, I will hit this apply for certification. So once I click on it, I'll just show you, it'll walk you through. Like mine was API 1104. Um, I, I, my next one would be my nine year renewal. So I would do my nine year renewal. And the only thing I need to do, I don't have to take no continuing education. I could just upload my syllabus or my student sign in. So if you teach, you don't have to recertify for nine years for CWI. You could just uh, submit your uh, credentials. And this tells you which one you want to do. Click, click, click. Uh, right here, if you're going to do a CWI, you're going to do the CWI. Um, either you did D1.1, 1104, mine's 1104, renewal by work experience. So you would click that and then you hit continue and you just go through the process and answer, put in your work experience and put in the address of your employee. It's really, really easy, simple to do. So once you finish, it's going to then you're going to pay <laughs> like my CWE yesterday. I had to pay $600. It was really 300 and something. Plus they want you to get the membership, which is another $300. So I had to pay right at $600. So I get a three year, um, I get a three year membership. So let's, I'm not going to continue through this because it might mess something up, but that's how you do. You just hit continue and you want to renew. You don't want to, if, you if your um if your uh, renewal is expiring in april don't wait to april to do it do it six months in advance because with all this COVID stuff going on the mailing and all this other stuff uh it i'm pretty sure they got delays now and if they don't got delays they're gonna blame it on COVID, saying hey uh you know we got delays with all this COVID activity going on so submit your application six months in advance, four months in advance, if you can. Like, like I submitted mine yesterday, but my renewal is not until April. So I did it with three, four months in advance. So we're going to go back to www.aws.org to the home page again. And we're going to click on a certification and we're going to go to our pricing right here. So this is your pricing. You click on it. 
and we're gonna zoom in on this so you got all your prices for your renewals uh, CWI CW uh, senior certified wellness inspector so here's the member fees and over on the right hand side is non-member fees so for my CWE renewal right here and they said I wasn't a member because my member they said my membership expired um, they say uh, it expired about four or five months ago but anyway I had to pay six hundred dollars and I called them and I asked them about the six hundred dollars they said well you got a deal on it because you didn't have to pay the six hundred and fifteen dollars because this is the new price I paid the old price for six hundred dollars so I saved fifteen dollars <laughs> But this right here includes membership also. So I get my CWE uh, certificate and I get my membership for three years. So when I get ready to do my CWI renewal three or six year, I will have to pay, since I'll be a member, since I got the three year membership, $545. If I'm non-member, $800. Okay, since I would be doing my nine year next year renewal, only thing I need to do is just show my PDHs. If I'm uh, teaching at the college, Lone Star College, I just need to show proof that I have a, have a syllabus and also like a sign in sheet of my students. And I would be exempt for taking the 80 professional development hours or endorsements and all this other stuff. But if you are not teaching, you can take seminars and there's different places on there that uh, have seminars for sale to get your 80 professional development hours. And if I remember, I put some of the links of those places below. So you can just click watch this video. You get ready to new, just click on the link. But that's how you renew your CWI or CWE certifications online, especially it's better to do it that way. Uh, because of this COVID and uh, taking a chance of putting it in the mail, it might get lost. But anyway, if you do it online, you got you got a paper trail, you got an electronic trail. So thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to test your knowledge on some tests, I have some uh, information in the links below. All right, thanks and uh, have a great day.